Welcome back, everybody. I'm Brad. I'm Steve. Brew day. Brew day. Well, we're doing the video for the brew day that was a little bit ago. Um, but, so, I made the caribou slobber. Mm -hmm. Fan favorite, by the way. Yes. Yep. Most viewed video out of our stuff, which yeah. I cannot believe. Because that, that was the very first review we did. Barely knew how to work that camera. Yeah. Yeah, remember I think <laughs> then we fired one crew member yeah. and got a new Crazy one, as hell. and then he didn't work out, so we started doing it on our own. There was that we, strike, don't forget the strike, yeah. and then union yep. benefits, yep. so we were like, nope. Yep. And then we screwed it up because they were all fuzzy and coming up at our noses and seeing all that. So, but, so it's finally made, you can go back and watch the overview of the Northern Brewer ones, that we did then an overview of the caribou slobber one that we did. Okay. But um, for the most part, this was done 325. Mm -hmm. I made it was the date. Um, it's a while ago. Yes. Um, I do have all my notes. But um, I will let you guys go back and watch the videos to see what's in the grain bill and stuff like that. Um, now, I did change this up. I put four ounces of unsweetened cocoa powder at the last five minutes of the boil. What did it call for the last time? None. Okay. So you're just trying to give it a Correct. little more chocolate. Yeah, if you go back and look at the first video, somebody commented, I want to put cocoa nibs. Well, I didn't want to put them in the secondary. And on the Andy's Mint Stout, I put the cocoa powder in. Remember, it, it ball balled up, and then when I took it out, the ball was dry. Yeah. So this time I made sure to smash it and there was no dry ball. No <laughs> <laughs> um, so I hit pretty much all my numbers. Um, the uh, original gravity came in at 12.5 bricks. Okay. Okay. Now this is also the one that we talked about. I had a dry yeast packet from when I first made the caribou slobber that I overnighted to me because I didn't think it was going to take off. Mm -hmm. So I did use that to go, to start it. and So no starter, just yep, straight dry yeast. Yep, that was a year old. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> and it's been in the fridge, so that's what I tried. Now, it I did, um, the yeast did work. And I'm trying to find my notes. Um, it so I checked it on four twelve or four two, and it was down to nine bricks. Okay, okay? and I didn't think that was enough because if you put it in the calculator, it's probably like a, a two point five beer or something like that. So you're trying to get it down yep. to like six or right. something? So I thought, okay, the yeast is old. I went and I got another pack of it. I dumped that in. Then I rechecked it on 410, and it was down to eight and a half bricks. So it, it Still dropped. working. Yep. Yeah. So that put it at 4.15% ABV. Is that where it finished? Well, then I was like, okay, it's done. You know, that's two packets of yeast I put in there. And from 325 to 410, it only dropped four, four bricks. So I transferred it to secondary. Okay. And two days later, this thing started going crazy. So you woke something up. <laughs> yes. I woke something up, but I thought I had my little son help me. And I had him hold the bung, and I figured he touched it and, you know, threw it Got up in the air. some wild yeast or yeah. something in there. Some so, crayons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Drop a crayon in there. So I let it go, and it got a croissant over the top, and it went crazy. Um, so this past weekend, 5.15, mm -hmm. I checked it, and it was down to six bricks. So I think what happened is when I transferred it to secondary, I got a little bit of that yeast, got it going again, and it finished. Hmm. I mean, I guess it, right now it's at a 5.26%. Which, if I remember correctly, isn't that still a little lower than your I last I think one? so. I would have to go back and look at the Northern Brewer ones, but I think they only give you the original gravity. 
they don't give you the, the final, final gravity. But you can usually guesstimate roughly where where, right, it, would where it should come in. Um, but so it's in the keg. Um, you guys will have to watch the next video. But um, I did a little experiment. I don't think it's going to work. Um, normally, if you need to use a keg, pressurize it with CO2 Shake. a lot more. Shake the crap out of it and you should be good. So that's kind of what I did, but I only used 10 PSI. Uh, so I man. put the 10 PSI on it, I shook the crap out of it, I put more on it, I shook the crap out of it, then I put it in there. So we were, we're going to do a review of a one day... A flat beer. <laughs> yes, a flat <laughs> beer. So make sure you stay tuned to that. Um, and while uh, we're going through this, we'll put up a pictures or videos or whatever but sure. um we will have the review soon in another episode but i guess i would say that pretty much the year old yeast worked hmm. for the most part yeah maybe it was too cold i did have a blanket on it a heating blanket that's plugged into the controller well, so I, I know you ferment in your basement but i thought we had warmer weather during that time though so right I but i help it more than yeah. hurt it and when I, I when I put it in the secondary, I didn't put the heater on it. Oh. So it probably would have been between 60 and 64. Which should be fine for that. Yeah. Phase. So I'm not sure it sat in the same spot the whole entire time. Yeah, maybe you just... So, yeah, I just woke it up and it finally wanted to eat more. <laughs> so it did. There you go. <laughs> cool. So that's the overview of that. Like I said, stay tuned to a future video where we will do the review of a one-day-old one and see if we can taste some chocolate. But I think it's too early to taste chocolate. Mm, gotcha. But it has been sitting in secondary for three weeks. Never know. Yeah. We'll have to see. Yep. So until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Steve. Happy brewing. See you next time. <laughs>